Hello, I'm Pat Cunningham. Welcome back to my series of videos explaining equity release. Um, as always, would you please be kind enough to click the uh, subscribe button or the like button so that we can uh, make these videos more accessible to more people and we can get our explanation across. Okay, so today um, another important topic, they're all important topics really, uh, on equity release is uh, inheritance tax or IHT as it's known. So inheritance tax is something we have to be uh, aware of. Um, now inheritance tax, it's um, something that's affecting more families increasingly now uh, the problem is there's been a build-up of large estates large estate values due to uh, house value inflation over the last 20 or 30 years whatever and there is a there's a nil band rate for inheritance tax um, an allowance if you like of £325,000 um, so the first £325,000 you don't pay tax on so that's the allowance now the problem is that, that £325,000 band uh, has remained unchanged since 2009 so whilst the values have been going up the band has remained the same so the gap is becoming greater which is why there can now be uh, this increased problem with uh, inheritance tax liability of course uh, if you leave things to uh, your spouse or civil partner uh, direct descendant um, charities or uh, in fact uh, clubs even political party there is no inheritance tax to pay um, but it is something you need to be aware of and to discuss with your equity release advisor. Um, for example, uh, let's take something. Let's say you let's say you live alone, and you don't have a spouse, and you don't have any direct descendants. You live alone, and let's say your whole estate, so your property and cash and all the other bits and pieces you might have everything put together your estate let's say your estate is worth six hundred twenty five thousand pounds and you die and you've left your estate let's say to your nephew or your niece then they would inherit six hundred twenty five thousand pounds there is a three hundred twenty five thousand pound allowance this nil band rate so that would leave 625 less 325 it would leave 300,000 pounds which will be liable to inheritance tax inheritance tax at the moment is 40 40 percent it's a lot so let's say you left your estate it was worth 625,000 pounds to your nephew or your niece or whatever uh, they would have a bill for 300,000 pound at 40 percent be a hundred and twenty thousand pounds that's a lot of money and that would need to be paid within six months of the death otherwise HMRC would start to uh, charge interest on that money so how would they pay this uh, 120 thousand pound or the executor to your to your will if it's just in your estate the executor has a problem now oh, there's a hundred and twenty thousand uh, pounds to be paid and if that cash is not available then it may well be that the property would have to be sold to pay the inheritance tax bill so far from your niece inheriting a property they've now inherited a problem where they have to sell the property in order to pay the IHT okay they'll still have the, the remains of that the property but it's uh, become quite a shock to them to have to pay that IHT so it's something to remember now the reason I mention it with equity release is because equity release uh, is not actually designed as an inheritance tax mitigation plan but in fact uh, 
with equity release, if you release equity from your property, it in fact reduces the value of the property, which in turn reduces your estate and can reduce IHT liability. So it's certainly worth considering. If you had done a home reversion plan, uh, whatever percentage it was that you'd sold uh, on the plan, that would immediately come off your estate. <clears throat> and if it was a lifetime mortgage, then of course with the roll-up, if you weren't paying the interest, as the roll-up uh, went along, the equity would reduce in the property, therefore the estate value may well reduce, again uh, reducing IHT liability. So you might think, well, why should I leave all that excess there to uh, be for inheritance tax when maybe I could, it's a double whammy, I could take some money out for myself and also not leave that liability. So it's something to consider. Um, and I spoke about a spouse or a direct descendant. Um, I know there's a lot of people have a joint mortgage. Uh, they've lived together for 20 or 30 years, they have a joint mortgage, um, but they're not married. No problem with that, except that, um, let's look at it this way, uh, let's say a couple have uh, a property, let's say it's worth £800,000, and the, uh, the, the guy dies, leaving the rest, well obviously leaving the rest to the partner because... Um, it's joint ownership, so the, the joint owner, the partner, the unmarried partner, would take possession of the whole property. So if it was £800,000 worth of property, then each part would be rated at 400000 50% each. And when she, if, if a guy died, when she received the rest of that property, it would be deemed as a £400,000 transfer because she's not a spouse. So now she owns her property, which she has done for 30 years with her with a, a unmarried partner, but now she's received this 400,000 pound. 325,000 pounds is the allowance. So there's 75,000 pounds there due for inheritance tax. At 40%, 30,000 pounds. So all of a sudden, she's got to find £30,000 to pay to the tax man. Uh, we spoke before about you may consider getting, getting married um, in order to make these things uh, better for when you die. So there we are. Um, I'm not going to go too deeply into inheritance tax. It covers a lot of things, but that's basically what it is. Um, I haven't mentioned as a residential band of 175,000 which adds to the 325,000 that is for when it's your residential property and, and it goes across to the spouse but these are all things that uh, your equity release advisor uh, can speak to. they fully understand this and uh, it's important that uh, you begin to understand it you don't need to know the all ins and outs of it but uh, when you do your estate planning uh, Inheritance tax is very much part of that. And to see how you could mitigate it, it could well be that equity release may be appropriate to reduce the equity in the property. Something to think about. Again, uh, your equity release advisor will be able to discuss it with you fully. Um, as always, uh, you're very welcome to uh, contact me, ask any questions. Uh, I'll be delighted to uh, answer them for you. Uh, my, my telephone number is there on the bottom now. So uh, please get in touch if there's a question about it. I hope you found that uh, interesting on uh, inheritance tax. Uh, it's something we all have to pay. Death and taxes, that's only two things they say are sure in this world. So uh, there we are. Um, okay, see you on the next video. Bye.